Hi everyone. Welcome to my physics classroom. Friends, today I am going to explain about one of the basic concept of the physics and it is the first and foremost chapter to learn about the competitive examination such as NEET JE main exams. Now I will going to say you need. Unit is a part of the chapter units dimensions and measurements and measurements. What is actually unit or why we should learn about the unit? Unit is nothing but we will use to predict the measured physical quantity. Imagine if somebody asked, what is your height? If you say just number, it is meaningless. If you say it is 50, it is 150, it is 5, it is meaningless. We should say either 5 feet or 5 centimeter or 5 meter or 150 centimeter like that. See if somebody asked what about the mass, what about your weight, you should say either it is kg or grams, 50 grams, 50 kg like that. If somebody asked what is the temperature, you should say it is 100 degrees Celsius, 100 Kelvin, 100 Fahrenheit like that. So without unit any number is meaningless. If you answer any number with unit, for example, if you say 150 ml, that indicates that a fluid or liquid. If you say 150 rupees, that indicates that amount. If you say 10, meet, 10 kilometer distance, that indicates that length. So, what is, what about, a, to specify any measured quantity, we should use a proper unit. What is actually physical quantity? See here, what are the types of unit? Basically, there are two types. One fundamental physical quantity, another one derived physical quantity. What are the fundamental physical quantities? First of all, what are the physical quantities? Physical quantities are measurable quantities. By using any one of the instruments, you can measure the length by using a meter scale. You can measure time by using or by observing the watch or clock. You can measure your weight by using a weighing balance. You can measure the temperature by using a thermometer. So. Any quantity, if you are able to measure by using any one of the measuring instruments, such quantities are said to be physical quantities. There are so many non-physical quantities also, just like human behaviors, angry, hunger, pain, affection, all those are non-measurable physical quantities. There is no proper device to measure human psychology. These are non-physical quantities. Now let us move towards the fundamental physical quantities. Already I told that fundamental physical quantities are also said to be base quantities. What are the base quantities? Base quantities are nothing but the independent quantities, independent physical quantities. And what about derived physical quantities? If you can obtain the physical quantity by using the base physical quantities. Base physical quantities. Two or more than two base physical quantities joined together will give a derived physical quantity. There are so many derived physical quantities. Derived physical quantities are not 
fundamental physical quantities. These are not base quantities. These depends on the base quantities. The units used to specify fundamental physical quantities are called base units or fundamental units. The units used to specify or express derived physical quantities are called derived units. Now, what are the types of units? Basically, there are four types of units. Four types of units. The first type, CGS system. What is the C? C is the unit of length, that is centimeter. G is the unit of mass, that is gram. And S is the unit of time, that is second. C refers to the length, physical quantity. G refers the mass, physical quantity. S yes, refers the time, physical quantity. Now, what is the second type? MKS system. M refers the length. K refers the mass. S yes, refers the time. So, meter for length, kilogram for mass, second for time in MKS system. Now, F. P S yes, system, third system, or F for length, P for mass, and S yes for time. F indicates that foot, pound, second system. Foot for length, P pound for mass, S yes, for time in SI system. So basically there are CGS system, MKS system, FES system, centimeter, meter, foot, units in different systems for length, gram, kilogram, pound, units for different, units for mass in different systems. Second is the common in every system. Second, we will express the mass. Now, the fourth system, it is SI system. What exactly the SI system? System of international units. Along with the mass, length, time, there are four additional base quantities later they decided. These are fundamental physical quantities. First you should know what about the name of the physical quantity. Length, mass, time, electric current, luminous intensity, temperature, amount of substance. These are the seven base quantities or fundamental physical quantities. Length already I told that one can measure by using any meter scale, centimeter scale or vernier caliper or screw gauge or spherometer etc. Mass you can measure by using a weighing balance. It may be physical balance or any other balance. Time you can observe, you can measure by using any clock. What is electric current? Amount of electricity. We will use our, either in our domestic purpose or any industrial purpose or any way. Amount of electric current is measured. Luminous intensity, the amount of light. Brightness of the light. Temperature. The heat, quantity of heat is measured by a physical quantity, temperature. Amount of substance, small amount of the substance it mean in terms of any substance if you wanted to measure. So these are the length, mass, time, electric current, luminous intensity, temperature, amount of substance are the seven base quantities. For each base quantity there is a unit. What is the name of the unit? Let us try to understand. Meter is the unit for length. Kilogram is unit for mass. Second unit for time. Ampere unit for electric current. Candela unit for luminous intensity. Kelvin unit for temperature. Mole unit for amount of substance. But 
we will not write the name of the unit in front of the measured number numerical and we will write we will use symbols small m for meter small kg for kilogram small s for second capital a for ampere small letter c d for candela capital k for kelvin m o l for mole so if you wanted to represent for example if you wanted to what is your weight weight we will say actually it is a around 85 kg weight is nothing but our mass right mass it is a number it is a number and it is the usi unit so you should represent you should write here it is a weight mass 85 kg indicates that 85 is number 85 that number is meaningless if you don't say the unit after that it may be 85 kg for mass it may be 85 kelvin for temperature it may be 85 cm for length it may be 85 ampere for current so what is that you should represent the physical quantities in this way along with these seven physical quantities there are two more independent physical quantities these are named as supplementary physical quantities and supplementary physical quantities are angles one is a plane angle another one is a solid angle what is plane angle plane angle is nothing but angle made between two axes if you say oa and ob their angle is theta it is said to be plane angle same way there is a solid angle in three dimension solid angle also you can measure it is delta so either it may be a plane angle or it may be a solid angle so plane angle it is in two dimension solid angle it is in three dimension what about two dimension three dimension i will explain in coming videos next videos in future then plane angle the name of the unit of plane angle is radian name of the unit of solid angle is radian and rad is the symbol for radian sr is the symbol for radian so in this video we realized that what is actually unit why we require unit what are the types of units along with that what are the types of physical quantities what about fundamental physical quantities what about fundamental unit what about derived unit and types of the system of units we will use or what about history behind the system of units cgs system mks system fes system same way SI system. What are the different types of fundamental physical quantities? What are the seven base quantities? What about their name of the units? What about their symbols? About the supplementary physical quantities, plane angle, and solid angle. Friends, in next video, I will going to explain SI prefixes and suffixes. Yes, say prefixes. There is no suffixes in physics. I think everyone understood about the units and types of system of units and fundamental physical quantities and their units, their symbols. Please subscribe my channel for next coming videos. For next coming videos. Thank you.